So it is a big deal for me, a big day for me. I'm going to my P.O. box with the two kids. We got Jack here. I'm gonna bring my stroller because I don't, I don't want to try to carry him in the car seat. I'm sure he's gonna fall asleep. It's about nap time. And this is the first time I'm going to the P.O. box. I hate first time experiences. I'll talk more about it later, but I'm gonna bring you along. Okay guys, oh, I did it. I found the, the post office. I've never been here before. I found my PO box, waited in a line that I thought was the right one to get my package. So I hate first time experiences and I can successfully check this off and it's not gonna be as stressful in the future. Jack is supposed to be sleeping, but he kind of woke up in there and kind of cried a little bit, but you know, my anxiety isn't super high right now. So I will, talk about when we're at home and it's a little bit more calm and I've calmed down from this experience. I'm going to go get some Starbucks and then I'll let you know why this is such a big deal for me. But I'm excited that it's done. Okay, got my little treat. Aubrey enjoyed a little pup cup, which is typically what I get her when we go to Starbucks because it's free. It's just some whipped cream and she can enjoy that and it's like a fun little outing for us. So I just got Jack down for a nap and I'm gonna open up these boxes and just kind of tell you guys why this was, again, such a big deal for me today. So this whole P.O. box thing is kind of a new thing for us and a big deal for me in regards to this channel. You know that I you know, occasionally review products and things like that and that's the main reason that we got this P.O. box. I do joke down in the description box, like if you want to send me as a sleep deprived person some Starbucks gift cards, you can send it there. It's more of a joke. However, I will not return or reject any thing that you guys send our way if you want to, but there's no pressure. It's, it's more of a joke and my sarcasm kind of coming out. But like I said, the main reason we got this PO box is for doing product reviews and um, I have a couple lined up and today I'm actually gonna be reviewing what is in this big box. But I'm just, you know, the, the whole reason why I was so anxious is I just really hate first time experiences. Like I remember in school, and the first time I had to go get my books in college, I freaked out. Like I needed my mom or my brother or someone else who's done it before to like come with me, even though I was 18, come with me, you know, walk me to where I needed to go. I would need to walk where my classes, like see where my classrooms were before the first day of school so I wouldn't freak out the day of. And pretty much just any time that it's like a first time experience, I freak out. I have thankfully never been called to jury duty, but I know that when I do, I will freak out with that because I don't know where I have to go. Like, I don't know where to park. I don't know what I have to do. I hate making phone calls because I don't know exactly what I need to say. And so today was a big deal because I decided to go on my own with the two kids. I could have waited till tomorrow. My mom's coming to help me tomorrow and I could have ran an errand, but I was like, I don't want you know, to be gone for a chunk of the time when she's here visiting not only my kids, but me as well. So I was like, okay, I just have to muster up the strength to get this done today and to prove to myself that I can make it through doing some errands like this. Now, you know, thankfully with like grocery shopping, we can order ahead and Juan can pick it up on his way home. It is, you know, a little bit more work for him and I'm sure he would appreciate it if like I did the grocery shopping and picking up and all that stuff. But I am such a homebody and I hate leaving my home. <sighs> That's one area where I feel a little guilty. But, you know, the point is, is I get super anxious and I didn't know where I was going today. I didn't know 
what it would look like on the outside if I could turn left from you know the uh, the side of the street or if I'd have to go ahead and make a U-turn. Like all of those things are stuff I freak out about. Thankfully, I married a guy who is totally fine with like first time experiences. He's had to do a bunch of stuff in his life where no one's been able just to show him what to do and he's figured it out. And so I feel blessed that my husband is that type of person to balance me out. And I know that like I have so many other strengths, but doing first time experiences is not one of them. But I have a product here that I will be showing you guys in a different video than today's video. And then this big one is something we're doing today. It's always so funny when you get like a huge box, but then there's a much smaller box in the big box. I don't know if you guys have this, like when you guys get things delivered to your house, but it's like, why a box twice the size or bigger? It just doesn't make sense to me. But before I talk about this product, I do want to just kind of wrap up my anxiety talk with, you know, having kids definitely made things worse for me regarding my anxiety. I am on my antidepressant slash anxiety medicine and it's like a normal dose. It's not anything too extreme and it's not like a lesser dose, but you know, I'm thankful that I'm taking that because I think it's helping, but bringing my kids when, you know, if I was just by myself, I can control myself. I can control how I act, but I can't really control how they act or how they react. And with a newborn or relative newborn, you know, I, I wanted him to fall asleep on the way there. He kind of dozed, he kind of cried. You know, that wasn't ideal. His naps haven't been that long anyways. And I'm always just stressed that I'm gonna be annoying other people or a bother to them and then I don't know if Aubrey's going to be helpful when we go out or if she's going to just add to the stress and if I'm going to have to be dealing with two kids with two different types of tantrums happening and you know obviously I'm sure a lot of moms can relate going shopping or doing any errands is much more enjoyable even though it might be like a chore it's much more enjoyable when you get to do it by yourself because you don't have that extra stuff to worry about so I'm just really proud of myself for getting through that little excursion today. And I'm excited about like what's to come and all the stuff that's gonna be at our PO box waiting for us. And I'm thankful for just the ability and the opportunity to do this. So I hope that just me getting out and conquering this little fear of mine, as big as it is to me, it may be small to other people, but I hope that if you are going through the same type of anxiety with your kids, or if you just hate first time experiences too, I hope that this motivates you to give it a try and try to conquer a little fear or a big fear or any fear for that matter, conquer it and just do something that you'll you know be proud of later on rather than the temptation to just stay home and do nothing, which was definitely on my mind today. But without further ado, I would like to thank Babylio for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us a really cool mattress for Jack's crib. Now I'm obviously gonna open it up right now and then we're gonna set it up when he's done napping and then I'll show you guys, I'll like at his next nap, how he is on this little mattress, but it's really cool. It has like memory foam, it's dual sided and it actually is two pieces, so you can eventually use them as like little cushions to sit on, or if you really wanted to have like the infant side on one half of the mattress and then the toddler like more cushiony side on the other half. So that is an option. I don't know. I was trying to think of a scenario where you'd use that option with a baby, but I think it's more like it's cool that like you can have cushions and stuff and have the different comfort levels. So that is probably how I will be using it and keeping both sides up you know, the same in the crib. But let me go ahead and open this up and show you guys what it looks like. As you saw, this mattress was shipped vacuum packed and expanded quickly after I cut open the plastic. The mattresses are made of high quality material and are super comfy. Off camera, Aubrey even came over and jumped on them and noted how comfy they were. I think she was a little jealous that Jack was the one getting them. 
The lighter side of the mattress is the firmer side, meant for infants, and the greener side is the softer side suitable for toddlers. There are ventilation holes in the foam to increase the breathability of the mattress, and the cold gel in the memory foam helps the baby to dissipate heat, providing a cooler and more comfortable sleeping environment. This feature will definitely come in handy when Jack starts getting little sleep sweats in his toddler years. This product also comes with an easy to clean mattress cover that is really super soft, waterproof, and machine washable. To be honest, this mattress couldn't have come at a better time because the one we had since Aubrey was a baby was kind of caving in at the center. A little difficult to see on camera, but definitely noticeable in person. Jack adjusted easily to the new mattress at his next nap and has been sleeping pretty well on it ever since. Again, I'd like to thank Babelio for sponsoring this portion of today's video, and I'd also like to thank you for watching today's video and supporting me as I deal with my anxiety. In some ways, it is because of you that I am motivated to even try to conquer my fears, and for that, I am especially grateful. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you in the next one. end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.